Today is Saturday, which marks two weeks out from the competition. So I am gonna be doing daily vlogs and take you along for all that comes these next 14 days. I'll probably do a physique update for you guys maybe tomorrow, let you see how things are looking. I may have to get adjustments to my bikini because it's looking like it's getting a little, a little big. Yeah, so I just got back from my training. I am going to have my typical supplement post-training that I've been doing is this overtraining solution. Do two scoops of that. It's unflavored, but it actually tastes pretty good. So I'm going to drink that and eat some breakfast. So Bruce had a lot of fun at the gym. He was pretty much awake the whole time. And so, has he been in there since you got home, Jason? So Jason gets home from the gym and he goes straight. He like needs to be cozy. He's like his mother. He needs to be like cozy AF, curled up in blankets, so naturally. My clothes pile is where he went, and I don't mind, because as of right now, he's not shutting. So, works for me. Jason's killing bitches. I was too hungry to film it, but I just ate some eggs, hard boiled eggs, with four whites, two yolks, and now I'm eating some asparagus because we are lowering the carbs for a couple days just to see how I respond, so. Um, and I also had kind of an odd combination, but I also had peanut butter. So um, I wanted to like eat something very filling. I like doing higher fat right after a workout just because, especially when I'm dieting, I find if I have like not all of my fats, but like a higher fat meal post-workout. Um, even if my carbs are lower or whatever I'm doing, it just tends to satisfy me more and like prolongs like that feeling of satisfaction. So I do apologize for the glasses and the glare. You may see that in a lot of videos because I'm struggling with some dry, chronic dry eyes. So I'm trying to get that all figured out and during which time I've been instructed to wear my glasses as much as possible, so spectacles. So because you guys only see Shredded Jesus doing sweet things for me, I needed to document that I also do sweet things for him, i.e. when I'm on a low carb day, and instead of hopping in the shower, I decided to make him a cake. He wanted a cake? I wanna make, got a cake. I wanna make the man a cake. Double layered with frosting in the middle. Look at that layer. Look at the layer. Illusion now. It's good for you too. It's like super easy to fit in macros. This is already posted to TigerFitness.com's YouTube, but as you guys know, we do uh, repost those eventually to this account. But go to TigerFitness.com to get that recipe because it's so good. Game changer. Game changer, fits into any diet, seriously. Made in minutes. You can make it gluten free if you need to. I use whole wheat flour, but made in minutes, actually good nutritional benefits in that recipe, and super low fat. Mm -hmm. There's like, like a only a few grams of fat in there, and you wouldn't know because of the moist maker that's in it, so. I really am gonna shower now. I just wanted to show you that two weeks out, I will still bake my husband a cake. Because I like him, and I want him to eat cakes, especially when I can't. <laughs> so we are also t almost at 12 weeks old for Bruce. He's He turned 11 weeks this past Wednesday, which they say 12 weeks is like the crucial point. Like you want to get them exposed to as much as possible by the time they're 12 weeks old. So we really only have a few days left. So Jason and I are kind of spending our weekends focusing on socializing him in weeknights too. So right now what we're gonna do, well first I'm gonna check on him and make sure he's not up to no good. Um. <laughs> You're back in the clothes, baby. What you doing in here? Um, so we are going to go take him to, I mean, we're gonna go downtown, I'm gonna go to the mall and get a coffee because it's like three o'clock right now, I think, two, three o'clock. And that's about the time of day where 
my energy levels start to get a little bit lower. Um, I usually just push through it, but since it's a weekend and we're going to a birthday party tonight, kind of want to have a, I want to stay at a good pace with my energy. So we're going to get a coffee and take him, take him around downtown and just try, keep trying to get him to meet new people. Um, and that's it. Bruce's life, like he's, he's been my life, which has been really nice because instead of being so like laser focused on bikini prep, which I guess you kind of need to be, it's nice to be focusing on other things because there's a life outside of bikini competition. So for me, it's been really nice. Where did that dog go? Where did he go? It's been nice to have the addition of Bruce. Uh, I don't know where he is. Bruce? Bruce! Where did you go, babies? You wanna come to mama? Come here, baby. Come here, babies. Yes, you good boys. You wanna lay down? Come here, babes. Come here, babes. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> Aww. Aww, bud. You laying on my belly? Look at them paws. Look at them paws. He's such a cuddler. Oh, I'm so in love with you, Bruce. I'm so in love with you. Care excited shower today. I'm wearing these Freddy jeans. I know a lot of people ask me about them when I post them on Instagram. I don't know if I've shown them on YouTube or not. I love them. They're like super stretchy material that doesn't really show you well, but they're very comfortable. So I'm wearing that with like this little cropped uh, BCBG sweater because it's a little bit chilly out even though the sun is shining. So we are at the mall. We're taking Bruce in with us. Hopefully we don't get yelled at. I'll carry him with you. Okay. It's getting heavy. It's getting really heavy. It's a big boys. Favorite coffee shop, Finger Lakes Coffee Roasters. Never disappoints. I got a large iced Moose Crossings coffee, which is chocolate and Kahlua flavored with a splash of cream and some Splenda. And Jason got the same in medium. Yeah. And so far the dog's doing pretty good. Yeah. He went up the escalator, his first escalator. And we're gonna see if we can sit here for a little bit and just people watch. It's a good sound. Regents the machine. Um, Bruce did really good at the mall, like super good. That was a great experience. He met tons of people, kids, all kinds of shit. Um, we're at Wegmans now. I'm gonna run in and get some fish, I believe. Uh, maybe salmon and a few other things while Jason stays with the dog. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to my client, Tori. And hopefully she doesn't mind. I'm gonna show you guys what she looked like on stage today. Here, let me flip this around, it might be easier. She is in the middle here, looking freaking stunning. Look at her. She looks like a pro, and she looks so phenomenal. Um, I thought for sure, I mean, I didn't, I'm not there, I didn't see the other girls, so, you know, as a coach, it's hard to always know what goes into the placings. Um, I have been on the judging side before, but she ended up getting fourth in novice and fourth in open, which she was like in the middle coming out both times, so that was a little surprising to her, um, rightfully so. And from, you know, the picture she sent me, I really did think she was very, like, pro eligible at, and this was her first show, uh, WMBF show. So is that WMBF? No, OCB, excuse me, OCB. Um, but I just want to like mention, like, it's hard. Like you get sad when you don't place as well as you think you're going to place. I've been to shows where I've come off the stage and people have said, you got first, you were first place. And I was like, Oh my God. And like got my hopes up and like, it sucks because you don't want to not be confident, but 
it freaking hurts when you don't place as well as you're gonna as you wanted to or what you had expected and I just wanted to bring this up for anyone competing that you know you have to go back to and what I told Tori was you never know there's politics in every sport um, you never know judges look for something different they all have a different preference um, ultimately you have to be happy you have to ask yourself what am i happy with what i brought to the stage do i feel like there was room for improvement or you know am i truly like happy with how i looked and what i did in this prep and if the answer is yes then you're you have to be happy with that otherwise it'll break you down and you know you can't there's things you can't control in this sport and that is one of them and you can't let that defeat you. So, Tori, if you're watching this, I am so ridiculously proud of you and everything you achieved this prep, and I hope you are too. You look stunning. You look stunning, so don't ever let a placing take that away from you. So I just wanted to bring that up, because um, we all go through it. You know, most people aren't going out there getting first place at every show, so it's the reality of it, and it does suck, but on that note, I'm going to head into the Wegmans and grab some goodies, and I think we're heading home after that. From Wegmans, and my quick little grocery haul consisted of mainly just needed some protein. I know I'm lazy AF, but the hard-boiled eggs I've been loving. Grab some 95.5 beef, some 99 lean ground turkey breast, and then I also got protein uh, fresh cod wild caught cod I think we're gonna try flounder this week too uh, cucumbers all the green things zucchini noodles I grabbed the zucchini I'm like screw this I'm lazy zucchini noodles and then grabbed a bag of broccoli although here's a little uh, sorry <laughs> dieting tip for you maybe not for prep but those cruciferous vegetables Things like broccoli, cauliflower, um, Brussels sprouts, they produce a lot of volume in your stomach. So they are great if you're looking for high volume foods that you can eat that will fill you up. The problem is for me being two weeks out, like last night I ate a cup and a half of broccoli before I went to bed and I was like immediately bloated. I have not been eating broccoli at all in a while. So to add those foods in, you wanna do so kinda of gradually or just be mindful that yeah, you might be bloated or uncomfortable, um, which sometimes is a good thing if you're dieting. Like I'll like wanna make myself like bloated because if you're bloated, you don't wanna eat as much, right? So sometimes that's like a great little tip. Just get yourself nice and bloated and uh, Appetite control 101. We are about to leave for the birthday party with Bruce is coming with us. Bruce, how was your day today? <laughs> Did you enjoy going for coffee at the mall? Did you enjoy meeting lots of people today? How about the kids? Did you like them? Do you like going to the gym and lifting weights? Real quick, we wanted Bruce to show died. you. Bruce died. Play dad. Good boy. I mentioned before we were getting a fence put in um, for the sake of Bruce, but also just for some backyard privacy. And that started to go up this week. So you guys can kind of see how it looks. Um, our tree will be on the outside of the fence, but it's gonna be pretty big. We'll still have like extra yard on the outside and stuff, but that's how it's gonna look. So it's gonna be awesome because he really does love sitting outside. Um, it'll be so nice for him. It'll be nice for us too, just to like have some privacy as well. And I think we're gonna get a ton of use of it out of it this summer. Like probably just have a lot of backyard parties, right? Right. Party it up. Getting the shot, easy. You never put me in the shot. It's hard because then I'm just a little head. Usually she films herself like this, and I'm always like, Kara. I don't like. Move this. your hand up. I don't like this half of my head. It's ugly. Hugs feel good. Sometimes when you're married 18 years, you forget to like hug. We haven't been married 18 yes. years though. I mean, whatever. Same You've difference. Been together 18 years. I want to kiss your nostril. I'll flare it for you. <laughs> don't get a booger in my mouth. I don't want it. I can't have those calories. Is my tongue? <laughs> my tongue's super red. I just got done 
drinking like 30 ounces of Mio. Oh. It was delicious. I'll be that person at the party like the second we walk in. Do you have a bathroom? Can I use it? All right, car ride. That dog's in there. <laughs> so. How do you feel about the car, Bruce? Do you like riding back there? Who do you like better, mom or dad? It's like so peaceful out here. Road goals, Jason and I wanna live on this street. What's up guys? I am gonna take you through my leg day workout I had this morning and do some commentary over it. Um, you guys said you wanted more workout footage, so you were getting mostly raw, raw footage here. But so basically for my leg day workouts, um, I've been doing legs twice a week. Um, in addition, I sprinkle in some other leg movements throughout the week as I need to. Um, but mostly these past few weeks, I've been keeping my actual weight that I'm lifting a bit lighter and just focusing more on higher reps, a uh, bit more volume, and making sure I'm really just mentally squeezing my tushkins. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about that backside. That's what I got to get leaned down a bit more, and it usually really comes together for me the last two weeks. And yes, we're still bringing Bruce to the gym with us. Um, he's much more lively this past week, but what I've also been doing too is sprinkling in some plyos and that also seriously burns out my legs so quick so I you know feel like even though when you look at this workout you know I'm not lifting crazy heavy weight you know Jason told me to check my ego and quit worrying about that I'm doing everything I need to um, I get a lot out of these workouts and this is one of the most common things I get asked is how to lean out the legs Number one, it's going to be diet, you guys, obviously. Taking your diet to a consistent, very, you know, not extreme, but, you know, you've got to be consistent with it. you got to be very specific with it, what you're consuming. And then your workouts have to be on point, uh, lifts and cardio. So for me, that combination does the trick, but it takes time. So um, you guys are getting some ideas of plyo movements. I don't plan out my plyo movements. I love how Bruce just sits there and watches me. Can we take a moment? <laughs> He's so cute. Um, I just like to do a combination of different plyos that uh, really get my heart rate up and I feel like do kind of target my legs as well. I guess these are burpees or whatever. These get my heart rate up so hard and I try to not rest in between movements too much. Squats, what you saw for squats, um, I probably did a total of three to four working sets and a couple warm-up sets, a couple um, finishing sets. So I usually pyramid up and then come back down totaling any, you know, anywhere from like six to eight sets, I guess. Um, after the squats and the plyos, I moved on to this vertical leg press. I like this better for my knees um, and I kept it light. Normally I do a lot more weight on here, but again, my focus at two weeks out, you guys, is just higher volume. Um, I really feel this in the back of my legs and my butt. Every time, without fail, it gets me sore. And that's not to say that if you're not getting sore in the gym, that you're, doesn't mean you're not working hard enough. Like people's, when you get sore, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're working hard enough either. It's just how your body reacts, I guess. I don't know, that wasn't very scientific, but here's just another um, uh, plyo movement. And this one, I don't think it looks hard at all, but man, I could only do so many because it burnt me out super duper quick. Um, and then I did these. I don't like doing hip thrusts with a barbell at this gym because there isn't like a good bench for it. I can't get set up well for it. And it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy. So this is my replacement for those. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Just the cable pull throughs with a nice ugly butt squeeze. Get that ugly butt squeeze at top there. Um, those are much easier and they're very effective, you guys. You know, these ones I like because, again, people might look at you a little crazy, but I th just think about that connection and really squeezing my glutes and making sure I'm feeling it there. Um, so with each and every exercise, because I know some people want to know 
um, how much I'm doing. Um, I usually do at least three sets of any exercise you're seeing. Um, typically three squats or more, and then everything else is three to four sets. Um, so the next things I did, you saw leg extension there. I was supersetting leg extension with the glue uh, pull-throughs. I did do a lot of supersets as well if I didn't do plyo. So again, I was trying to keep everything moving. I get people that walk up to me in the gym all the time too and say that. They're like, man, you just never stop moving, do you? And it's how it is for me these last couple weeks. Like I try not to rest too much. I will admit with Bruce at the gym, I do stop a little bit more than what I'd like to, but you know what? That's my dog. I love him. And those moments are worth it to me. So um, so then I moved on to the single leg uh, hamstring curl, which I really like that machine. And then I uh, superset it, I guess, with these little box jumps. And I say little because the box isn't huge, but you don't have to get a massive box, you guys. Like I know some people might be scared to do this movement, but again, I find it very effective. Um, for leaning out the lower body again gets your heart rate up helps me keep my heart rate up throughout my workout so again three to four sets of those um this is another option for you uh this is a captain's chair for like abs but i like to stand on this and use it for um hamstrings and sometimes i do like a sumo squat with it too it just allows you that extra room um that depth you can get that you can if you're just standing on a floor or even just standing on weights and also if you notice you kind of have to balance a little bit more too um with your foot placement on here. So overall, I just kind of like this as a different movement to kind of uh, incorporate in um, and work the hamstrings. And let's see, with that one, again, I did three sets of that. I incorporated a sissy squat is what this is called, this machine. And um, this one's great for the quads and the backside. Um, I was holding a 25 pound plate, but I do, I don't think Jason filmed it, but I do as many as I can essentially <laughs> um, with the 25 pound weight and then I drop it and do some body weight ones and clearly you have to do a douchey uh, ab check if you're two weeks out too so sorry about that sorry not sorry I'm going to enjoy them while I have them <laughs> um, so before when I you just saw this movement I was holding two 15 pound kettlebells I switched it to a 50 pound kettlebell because the other movement was just too light for me um, and again, you can play around with your foot placement. You can play around with if you keep a stiff leg. Um, sometimes I do more. I do a combo of a stiff leg, and then I also do a little bit of a bend. And I do a combo of coming all the way up and squeezing my glutes really hard. And then sometimes I just keep the pressure on the hams, and the movement is very short. So again, different variations. And at this stage of prep, I like to sprinkle it all in. I like to add in a little bit of everything sipping on my branch chain amino acids every single workout you guys i've been so consistent on that and i feel like it does help me and i just kind of look forward to it as well um doing my workouts fasted it just helps and recovery wise i haven't had oh i gotta knock on wood here but i haven't had a lot of issues with recovery i feel like I've been taking really good care of my body because that's just you know, this prep is, my health is super important, like my body feeling good, my mind, my everything, it's just I'm taking it all into consideration and I've just been doing things so different in this prep and obviously with the two weeks of vlogging, I'll share much, much more with you guys, but anyways, back to the workouts, you saw some laying hamstring curls and then these are kind of nice to throw in, again, may not look like I'm doing much, but this is another way of um, working your outer thighs, working the hips and the leg that doesn't have the plate on it, so in this shot, my left leg that just worked, that glute starts killing like a mother. So this is a great movement to throw in as well. I either do this with a plate or um, I'll do it on the cable machine too, but sometimes I just don't feel like setting up for that. Um, so I finished with that, and then I did, um, again, I just do all kinds of different movements to hit my hams. Um, one thing Jason didn't film was like the push down on the pull up machine. So I did some stiff legs here and I also finished with calves that we did not get. So that was my entire leg day workout. Um, give this a try. You guys will like it and plenty more vlogs to come two weeks out guys. Thank you for sharing this journey with me and we'll see you in the next one.